Now, like you, I watch a lot of content online and there is nothing that grinds my gears more than hearing bad audio. So I'm going to give you five tips on how to, well, make your audio more better. Yo, yo, and yo, my name is Bradley Aston, and this week I wanna give you five tips on how to improve your audio. Now you've probably heard it before, nothing ruins a video like bad audio. People can watch bad camera quality and not be bothered, but if it sounds bad, oh Jesus Christ, they are leaving as soon as possible. They are not getting anywhere near to the end of your intro because the audio is bad and it's just something that we can't handle. Don't know why, don't know what it is, but it's just the way it is. So I want to give you some advice and tips and tricks that I've learned on how to improve your audio. That way you can increase the quality of your video overall. So diving straight in, this seems a bit stupid, but use an external microphone. A lot of people think that using the microphone that's built into their camera is going to be fine. I don't know what it is, but most cameras, even if they're made for video, their microphones that are built in just are not up to the standard that they should be. They are small, they're not directional, and the preamps inside of cameras just aren't very good in general. So get yourself an external microphone, Turn down the input inside your camera all the way down to zero and then knock it up one so it is as low as possible and then adjust the settings on your microphone accordingly. Tip two, get that mic as close to your face on your mouth as possible. Now these mics do come with hot shoe adapters so that they can mount onto the top of your cameras. I hardly ever have it on there unless I'm after ambient room noise. What I tend to do is have it on a boom arm or a mic stand and have it as close to my face as possible. What I try and do is I stick to about a 30 centimeter ruler and kind of get it for about that distance and that tends to work for me. So, so my mic is just out of frame just here and all I do is I just make sure that it's up, out of frame, I just make sure that it's just out of frame and then zoom in just a little bit so that it's gone. With the mic being so close, it's going to get rid of all that unwanted noise and it's going to make your dialogue the main thing that stands out in this audio file. You wanna record this audio at minus 12 decibels. Now, some cameras won't show this up and won't show your decibel reading. If it doesn't, play it safe and record quieter. It's always better to record a little bit quieter and push the audio than to go too far up and clip your audio and that's when you're speaking too loud because you won't be able to salvage that and bring it back. So if you're in doubt, always record a little bit quieter. Tip number three, use anything you can to get rid of unwanted noise around the room. So I've just turned my heater off, I've put my blinds down and I've got a lot of furniture in the room already. You may not think it makes a big difference, but cushions, duvets, sofas, carpets, rugs, uh, curtains instead of blinds, all of this will make a difference in your sound. So when designing this room, all four of my walls had foam paper and not just thin normal paper. Because I knew it would help dampen the sound, I went for carpet instead of laminate. I've got a bed in this room, which helps massively. And then if I am doing something that's a little bit more high production than YouTube and I want that crisp, clear sound, then I will record and make a sound booth out of pillows or duvets or hang some blankets over some light stands just to make that a bit better. So get some furniture in your room, get some pillows around your camera, around your mic, wherever you can, just to help dampen the sound and reduce the unwanted room noise. Just, that's there, it's just always there, it's present. So get rid of it. Tip number four. Now this is where I see a few people going wrong and it's adding music to your videos. Music is so, so powerful in videos. I've said this before, but it helps give you the atmosphere. It helps convey what type of emotion. It gives you a bit more of a feel to your video and it's 
to a certain extent part of your branding, you'll notice that certain YouTubers will use certain types of music. So it is super powerful in your videos. But make sure we can still hear you. When putting audio and dialogue together, your dialogue should be in your video measuring at minus six decibels. And you should be able to keep your music at minus 30 at its highest point. This is going to make sure that we can hear what you're saying and make sure that the music is still there and still conveying the emotion and still giving your video an atmosphere and a personality. A good way of doing this as well is by using Epidemic Sound because when you have a subscription with Epidemic, you can download the stems for the video. So you can remove drums, you can remove guitar parts and things like that. So you can remove the bassier parts of that track and simplify it a little bit more and strip it back. That helps dumb it down and helps it to kind of blend into the background a little bit more as well. So definitely check out Epidemic. Now tip number five is a little bit more complex and a little bit more technical. I actually learned this from a friend of mine who is a sound engineer and this is how he told me to mix my audio and helped me out when I first started making videos and it's to EQ your music and dialogue separately. Now I do want to do a whole video on this but just so you get the basic idea you should have your EQ for your music and your EQ for your dialogue on screen next to one another. Mute your music and listen to your dialogue. Have a look at the peaks on that waveform and see where the highest point is. See where your speech falls into those waveforms and where it's kind of hitting pitch wise the most. Remember that place? Now, take your music, mute your dialogue, and listen to your music and have a look at the waveforms there. Now, where your dialogue was poking through and it was the most dominant, just drag that down in your music just a little bit and it's just going to help your dialogue cut through the music a little bit easier without you faffing too much and it's a quick and easy way to get a professional sounding quality to your videos. Now if you do want any more advice on audio, please feel free to drop me a comment down below. I'd love to help you out. Don't forget I have already done a video on this channel regarding presets for your audio. And that video is super useful as well. If you want something that's quick and dirty for different scenarios, tells you a little bit more about how to quickly and cheaply fix your audio no matter what situation you're in so i'll leave that just up here for you to check out but that's all for this week guys i hope you've enjoyed it i hope this has helped you out if it has let me know in the comments give me a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and i will see you next week for next week's video see you later Bye bye